Howdy. I'm Cyberax with a wondrously crafted. And today, we're going to be doing a quickie. We got some changes in block pins you need to know about. If you don't know about these, you. <laughs> oh, so let's just, let's just talk about number one. Number one, did you know that block binge saves every 30 seconds? So that means if you're doing an HG project or a really big geo and you're getting stuttering when you're doing stuff, ah, that's probably why. So Janice added this setting in here where you can set it to zero to turn off auto saving altogether if you don't need those auto saves in the background like me. Or you can make this just a really big number, say it was like 900 or something. You know, five minutes, 15 minutes, most stuff doesn't save every 30 seconds. Come on now. Come on, you need 30 seconds. You can't redo five minutes of your work. So <clears throat> I think that's a big one. You got to get in there. You got to do that. That's huge. If you also don't know about the new uh, knife tool, boy, do you need to know about the knife tool. If you don't know about the knife tool, you need to know about the knife tool. So it's here. It does stuff funky. You can take stuff and you can just chop it up. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. You see that? You see how, how crazy that is? You can just chop it up. I just want to remove it. There it is. It's gone. That's how easy it is. No more having to build around it. <clears throat> no more having to cut out the art. It's done. You're done. That easy. That's how it goes. That's the new knife tool. I've got guides and uh, some, uh, you know, follow me alongs. Watch me do it for those. If you do not know that you can add poly meshes into bedrock models, you're missing out. There's a new plugin available for poly mesh models. Yes, there is. Meshy is available. <clears throat> it's not on the marketplace. You're going to have to get it off GitHub. You can go find it from Shadow Kitten 47 He's on BAO. He's got a little post on it, um, or you can Google it. Uh, Meshi's also a uh, image to AI software, so keep that in mind. They are not related or connected. Something else you might want to know. I don't know if you do know, but <clears throat> there's an RTX. Um, let's see. Do I even have it in here? There's an RTX. Ooh, what's texture? That's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> there's an RTX plugin that you can get out of the block bench uh, part. And it doesn't look like, I think I pulled it out because I had the beta of it. But it does give you some lighting effects. Gives you the ability to do quite a few things um, in block bench like CRTX, uh, assign the materials and the, the textures and do the coloring all right here in the software. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure and check that out. <clears throat> so <clears throat> just, to, just to go back and to re, uh, the, the big thing I wanted to cover is this, this recovery point. I, I'm doing HD, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, when you, man, when it just is every 30 seconds is choppy, and you have problems, you can't move around, that drives you crazy. So just being able to turn this off makes a huge difference in what you're able to do and your performance in the software. I actually didn't know that that's what was causing the problem. Um, so it's really good to know. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to... <laughs> Nah, don't do it. Thanks.